Good morning and welcome to day four of our 21 days spiritual journey into prayer. Today we're going to be blessed with a lesson from David Schaff. He's going to come to us and share with us a little bit of what God has been doing in his life to help him become a person of prayer. And along the way, he's going to give us three very practical pieces of advice so that you can become a person of prayer even more strongly. And so I encourage you to spend some time listening to what David has to say and to hear how God has been working in his life. Hello, LCC family. I am David Schaff. I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about um, my prayer life and uh, how I ended up getting to where I am today with that. Um, to begin with, when I was in high school and junior high and college, I used to worry all the time about everything and anything. And uh, it probably wasn't until I was a, a senior in college that I became uh, an official Christian and I ended up uh, at that point in time, having a a mentor uh, through another church, uh, it was uh, uh, a when they had the new believers, they had someone come alongside them and help mentor them. And one of the things that my mentor and I ended up talking about was uh, being able to give things to the Lord and. Uh, that was that was hard for me to be able to do um because i felt like i i needed to worry about those things but the mentor ended up convincing me that i needed to be able to give those worries to uh to god and let him have it so one of the things that uh we ended up doing is i ended up keeping a journal for uh several years and what i would end up doing is each night i would write down the things in that journal that i was worried about and things that were uh stressors for me and uh the the deal that i ended up having to make was that if i put it in the in my journal then i I wasn't allowed to continue to worry about it or stress about it. I needed to give it to the the Lord and, and know that he was going to take care of it. Um, and it, it brought me to uh, a couple of verses like 1 Peter 5, 7, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you, um, was one that I had uh, had had used at that time uh and then uh philippians 4 6 don't be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to god uh so i ended up like i said realizing after uh, about a month of doing that that it was helping and i was a lot less stressed about things and i was uh happier uh with things and i would be able to see different worries and prayers that i had were being answered uh by by god and so it was uh something that i ended up doing probably for about five years of of my life doing that every night, writing uh, in a, a little journal about here's here's how my day was and here are the things that I need to get to the Lord. So it was a, a way of me being able to just uh, really focus on being able to set aside some time each day to make sure that I was praying and, and talking to God. Um, then as we proceed in time and ended up uh, getting married and having kids, uh, I sort of fell away from the the writing each 
each night uh, in a journal. But one thing that my wife Lisa and I end up doing each night is we end up before as we're laying in bed, we always do pray with each other each uh, each evening. Um, but uh, something else that we sort of tie into is we talk about a a low for the day and a high for the day. And we always do the low first and then we do the high as the the second uh, the second thing. And that is something that, um, where there is a point in time where uh, we hit a rough spot in our, our marriage, and that was something that ended up really helping us with being able to communicate with each other more um, and be able to hear, like, oh, this this thing, this issue that ended up happening today for you is really bothering you, and be able to uh, know like, hey, let's pray for that. And then being able to also uh, take those things that were a a blessing that we ended up seeing in that day and also being able to uh, lift those up and thank, uh, thank the Lord for the good things that we had experienced in the day. So um, we have been... We didn't start that in our marriage. Like I said, when we hit a rough uh, spot, that was something that we ended up doing to try to um, make a better connection with God and with uh, with each other. And that is uh, something that we've probably been doing, I think, for about um, seven or eight years now and um, I don't there's very rare occasion where we uh, end up not praying with each other each night um, and that is something like maybe um, she's she or I are out of town and we try to call and can't get a hold of one another, but we end up praying uh, on our own separately. But even if we're on like in, in separate areas, we'll still try to make that effort to call and communicate with one another. Um, another thing that I end up doing each day, and something that I I want to share with all of you with with prayer, is that it doesn't need to be a uh, a long drawn out process. It can be something that is is short. Uh, I find myself several times during the day just lifting things up in prayer that ends up uh, ends up cropping up in the day. Something that I know, oh, this is something I'm worried about or something that I'm stressed about. Um, I will just stop right there and end up doing a a little prayer um i do that uh when i teach there there's lots of opportunities there uh teaching in a public school where i will end up just taking a moment for myself and uh even as i'm walking around the classroom uh praying for the students praying for uh, the other teachers in my department, or just uh, just praying for uh, the the class to to run smoothly. So um, you can do those things all the time, and I just urge you to uh, really make prayer a a. Uh, a commitment in your life. If you find that, oh, I'm a warrior, try doing uh, some of the things that I suggested that you do. Or if you don't feel you and your uh, spouse are are really spending much time in prayer, try setting aside some time each, uh, each evening to be able to uh, pray with each other and be able to do that. So, Again, I just wanted to take a, a few minutes and share what the 
what my prayer life is like, and I hope this helps some of you. Thanks, and have a, a great day. David, thank you for sharing that with us. Let me just summarize. David just shared with us three things that have strengthened his prayer life, and they boil down to three basic questions. What are you praying for? Who are you praying with? And when are you praying? For David, he answered them, what is he praying for? Every day, he developed a habit of writing things down in a journal so that he could say, this is a thing I'm praying about, I'm giving it to God, and I'm letting it go. He said that he doesn't keep that up all the time these days, but I know myself, those days when I do journal, it is a blessing to me. So if it's a practice you've never done before, I encourage you to try it. Number two, he said he prayed with his wife almost daily. And I want to encourage you that every time I have spent time praying with loved ones, it's been an encouragement to me. So if you haven't done that or if it's been a while since you last did, let me encourage you to pick up the habit again. And then number three, the question of when do you pray? <laughs> David said he prays all the time because prayer doesn't have to be this thing that you structure and schedule. It can be a thing that goes throughout your entire day. And so let me encourage you. What are you praying for? Who are you praying with? And when are you praying? How about let's pray right now and ask for God to be involved in the rest of our day. God, we ask that you would lead us today, that you would be for us exactly what we need for this day, that you would help us to be for you exactly what you want from us for this day, and that as a result of what happens today, you would be pleased with us, we would find joy in you, and the world around us would be made a better place because we've been in it and we've been with you. Lord, thanks for giving us this time. Let me encourage you to spend some moments, even right now, before you go on with the rest of your day, thinking about what you should be praying for, who you should be praying with, and when you should make it a part of your life. God bless you.